Hey, what's up you guys, it's Connor, and today we're gonna be doing a doggy door-to-door -door unboxing. What are you doing? Look, over here. Over here. Okay. Right here. Lay down. Okay. Apparently one of you guys told them about us and how much you like watching our videos, so they contacted us and asked if we would be interested in reviewing one of their boxes for them, so we, of course, said yes. Look, where are you going? Over here, puppy. Fine, you can be a poop head in the corner. Look! <laughs> so if you guys don't know, Doggy Door to Door is a quarterly subscription box, which means you get it four times a year. I think it's March, June, September, and December. So instead of getting a box every month, you'd only get one every three months. They have different options for different boxes that you can get. So the doggy box, which is the quarterly one, the one that you get four times a year, is $40 per box, which if you add up the total for the whole year, ends up being cheaper than most of the other monthly subscription boxes, and you don't have to deal with having to get rid of a lot of the treats. If you only have one dog or something, this is a really good option because you don't have to deal with having a hundred treats that you have to use before the next month. And the doggy box, which is the one that I think we're gonna be reviewing. I actually haven't opened it, so I don't know yet. But it has collars, leashes, treats, toys, and more is what it says on the website. Then they also have the gift box options, which are just one and done boxes, and those are focused on different things. So collars and leashes is one, toys is another, and then treats is a third option. They also have four different sizes for your boxes, so they have small, medium, large, and extra large. Extra large is like Great Danes and stuff, large is German Shepherds. Medium, I think, is Dalmatians and Collies and everything like that, and then I think small is like toy dogs, Yorkies and Maltese's and stuff like that. And then they also separate them based off gender, so the Males get certain colored objects and the females get certain colored objects. If you have a male dog but you want a certain color that they've designated for the female dogs, you can email them and they will give you the color that you want for your pup. I think that's everything. If not, I'm sorry, but let's get started. I actually really like the box. It's a little bit smaller, so I don't know how much they've fit and packed into here, but we shall see. Someone drew a smiley face on the side in tape. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why someone drew that smiley face. Ready, puppy? Maybe not. Oh my gosh. It is packed. Holy moly. It's heavy and I can see why because it's absolutely packed. So the first thing in here is this paper and it says, coming this October, limited edition Halloween themed boxes. So I think possibly a fourth option for the one and done could be a Halloween box, which is pretty cool. It came with a little paper talking about the doggy box and how it's done with the different seasons. So one for Winter, one for fall, one for spring, one for summer. And all treats included in the box are made in the US. Every toy, leash, collar, or chew is tested and approved, and it contains five to 10 items. And Nook is looking at the people that are mowing the lawn across the street. The first thing in here is a bandana. It looks like a little luau bandana. It's got little flowers and such on it. But Nook, you're gonna love it. I'm gonna have to get a new box that has all of <laughs> some bandanas in it because he's gotten so many now. How do you look, pup? You look good. You look good, puppy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> the next thing I see in here is this rawhide braid. A lot of people don't give their dogs raw hides, but Nook loves them, so I give them to him. This is a five inch natural braided ring, and so that's just a little chew toy that he can have when we're watching TV, or if I want him to entertain himself and he's bugging me, I give you this, right? You give me a high five? High five for raw hide. The next thing in here is going to be this rope toy. This is really cool. Nook loves rope toys and they actually have one similar to this but this one's a little bit bigger so hopefully it sticks around a little bit longer you want to see this no pay attention <gasps> ow you want that you want it what are you doing he'll play with it later he always does so the next thing that was in the box is going to be this little carrot toy and it says squeeze me so it has a little squeak. Do you want it? Yeah, you want this toy, but not the rope one? 
even though Rope Toys are your favorite. Here you go. He's gonna like that toy because it's a little bit furry and he likes to chew on the fur and try to pull it off. Can you give me a paws up? Good boy. So next thing in here is gonna be the thing that he's most interested in and that's going to be the treats. These are the Mini Naturals Healthy Moist Miniature Dog Treats. These are roasted chicken recipe. And it says on the back that they're made in the US. So confirming what the little paper said before. Let's try them out. Oh, they're really small. I feel like these are training treats. Yeah, they're training treats because they are little tiny ones that they can eat really quickly after they do a little trick and they're done. So they're ready for more training within like a couple seconds. So how about you give me a shake? No, nope, I want that one. Nope, I want that one. Good boy. He seems to like them. And the next thing that's in the box is going to be this little I love my dog magnet it says it's for vehicles home and office stock so you can definitely put this on your car if you want to i don't really put anything on my car but if you wanted to this would be really cute i probably will use it as a refrigerator magnet so the next thing in here is going to be this collar this is a red tough collar it is for large dogs because nook is large do you want to try it on let's see let's take off your collar Oh my gosh, she's naked. I don't think I've ever put you in red before, puppy. You've always had green or blue. It's just a regular, a regular collar. Way too big still. Nook is in kind of like a weird position where he's a large collar, but he ends up going all the way to basically the smallest that the large collars can go. Still too loose. So there it is, you can't really see it, but it's on there. And then the last thing in the box is the matching leash for it. Let's see how long it is. Okay, so the leash is about six feet because that's how tall I am. So your arm width is usually your height, although it's not always accurate, but it's accurate enough. So this is about six feet, which is actually the size that you have to have your dog on when you go to different parks and such. That's the maximum length that your leash is allowed to be. So it's cool that now he has a leash that matches his collar. Although I don't keep the leashes on the collar, I use harnesses. And this clip is a little bit different, which is also pretty cool. So you just kind of move it and it clips onto whatever you're wanting to clip it onto. And that makes it a little bit better so that once the thing is actually hooked on, it can't just accidentally pop open and come loose. It would have to be pushed like this to come out. What are you doing, pup? Do you want a treat? Come over here, pup. Lay down. Give me a kiss. Fine. You never want to give me kisses. So that's everything that's going to be in the doggy door-to-door -door box. I really like the wide variety. Oh, don't punch my neck. No, that's dangerous. I really like the wide variety of different things that you get because sometimes it's just really nice to mix up the different collars that you use for your dog because let's be real, sometimes those dog collars can get pretty old pretty fast. So it's cool that you get a different one every few months and you also get toys and treats. So overall, thumbs up. Right. I'll leave links to Doggy Door to Door down below and you can check out their website for yourself. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you've checked out Doggy Door to Door or if that would be something that you'd be interested in. What color collar do you make your dog wear? Because I always make Nook wear green even though his eye is blue and, and brown. And we will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Good boy.